Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. <laughs> hey folks, I'm Mike and we have a special thing today. Uh, this is not a like a normal pin review or a normal ink review of any kind. Uh, this is a time we're going to review some nibs, like a wide variety of a particular kind of nib. Uh, and these are music nibs. So if you're not familiar with music nibs, what they are meant to do is they are meant to write music. So on a stand, you should be able to write with them going like this on a stand if you like, or slightly tilted or whatever. Uh, but they also have to be like kind of extremely stubby so that you get uh, very thin horizontal, or rather vertical lines and thick horizontal lines. So you can write music. Uh, so you can do like the skinny up and down bits. You can do like thick cross bits. You can do uh, like the thick little bubbles without having to do a whole bunch of scribbling. There will be no extra fines in this list. That's a warning. They're all big. So if you hate big nibs, not the place for you. But if you love big nibs and you cannot lie, and I do, uh, this is a great uh, set of nibs. So um, David over at Fig Boot on pens has uh, collaborated with me on this one. You will find his video over... Well, here is uh, the name of his uh, his channel, Big Boot on Pens. You will find a link in the description which will take you to his video and his channel. I urge you to subscribe, like, comment on his stuff. Um, tell us what we got wrong. That's cool. Uh, but hey, be nice. We try hard. Um, so here are a few things. Uh, here are the pins we're going to be talking about today. So firstly, this is uh, Franklin Kristoff 02 with a shadow music nib. Uh, it's a big black uh, colored nib. Three times. You'll see close-ups of these later on. So that's number one contender, the Franklin Kristoff Shadow Nib. Uh, and also, oh well, sorry, Kristoff Nib in Shadow. They also come in silver. Uh, we also have the 3776. This is the, from Platinum. That is their music nib. Uh, come on, will you focus? Yeah, you will. There it is. Uh, we'll get a better close-up and writing samples with all of these. So don't panic if that was too quick. I'm just doing a brief intro. Uh, next, the Custom Heritage 912 from Pilot. There you go. That is what that nib looks like. Yeah, there we go. Another three-time two-slit music nib. Yep. And then, lastly, but definitely not leastly, we have this pen, which is beautiful. Uh, I love this pen. This is a Sailor 1911 uh, standard size with the Sailor music nib. There it is. You see this is a one-time nib. So we'll get a better look at those. Close up, let's go ahead and get into writing samples now-ish because hey, that's what we're really here for. And then after that will be rankings and then after that you'll be back to my face and we will talk about how those rankings came out and like all that kind of stuff. So there you go, that's what's coming. Let's go look at paper. Okay, so here are all those pens we've been talking about uh, that I showed briefly before. Uh, we'll start off with, um, we'll start off with this one. Why not? So this is the Franklin Kristoff 02, and this one comes with a shadow music nib. This is uh, Fig Boot, David's pen. You can see there it has three tines, uh, two slits in there, unlike the normal two that you'll find in most fountain pen nibs. There we go, there's a better view, get some light right on that. Uh, it's a beautiful nib, it's kind of, I mean, it's hard to see some of the details probably in video because uh, it is very dark. Uh, none of the paint has chipped off any of these that I've seen. It's been like really well anodized if that's what they're doing. Uh, it's got a nice sunburst pattern. This one is called the Kristoff nib. We all call it the music nib or the snow shovel for obvious reasons, uh, but they call it the Kristoff nib there. It is a 1.9 millimeter music nib, which is a big old nib. Uh, for normal writing, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So if you're like taking notes or whatever, maybe not the nib for you. Uh, but it's uh, it's a really nice nib to work with. I have a little bit of a hard time writing with it just because of my writing angle. Uh, my wife Audrey at Franklin Kristoff uh, has uh, no problem writing with this nib because her writing angle is good uh, and her pressure is consistent or whatever. And mine is I'm a little bit light, I guess, and I, I write at a bit of an angle and I tend to rotate. One thing about music nibs is you generally cannot rotate your pen when you're using them because if you do, not all the tines will be actually on uh, the page. There's very little tipping material. This one has none. It is basically a music stub. Uh, no tipping material on this one at all. The other ones have some, but if you uh, write at an angle uh, that is uh, not appropriate or if you twist your pen a little bit, I tend to twist a little bit. That's just a thing I do. Um, then you're gonna have you're gonna have a bad time <laughs> because you will uh, you will mess up the uh, the tines contact with the paper. So let's go ahead and do a little writing sample with this one. Uh, let's see, we'll use it. Let's see, we'll move it. Let me move the camera just a skosh. There we go. All right. Now you're all out of 
balance. Better. Okay, this is the Kristoff music nib from Franklin Kristoff. I'm making an effort to write sort of perpendicular to the page. There you go. Let's see, Franklin Kristoff got all these pins in my way. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. This is Franklin Kristoff. This is the music nib. Uh, this is the 1.9 millimeter Kristoff nib. That's a chill order if you're looking for it. Uh, and it is a quite nice big nib. Let me zoom in some. So you can see some more detail on that action. There it is. Yeah, so really skinny downstrokes, really kind of large cross strokes there. Let's do some more like close up action of this. Here's some downstrokes. Now I'm writing it at more of a, a, an angle than I should. Really, I should just be writing perpendicular. And perpendicular, all these pins work very well. See, it makes it even smaller. Uh, but the cross strokes, and this is with no pressure. I really don't put any pressure on things. There's not any flex in this nib. Uh, sometimes you get music nibs that are a little bit flexy. This is not one. This is a steel nib. Uh, the others we'll see today are gold, uh, mostly like 21, 22 carat, and a 14, but this one's steel. So if you want to get a music nib that's a number six size, it'll fit in lots of pens, uh, including most of the Franklin Kristoff pens. Uh, this number six is actually a good bet for you. Uh, and what these are really for is writing music, of course. So I'll just do a little bit of that. Boom. I tried to do a circle. You don't even have to. One of the good things about having this wide nib is you can just do that. So. There's a little thing there. Get some for wings. We'll give it one of these little bird's eye guys. Yeah, good. Uh, if you need to do one of these, you can. Uh, so there's all kinds of good stuff you can do with music nibs uh, that you can't really do easily with another kind of nib. So if you're using a fine nib and you're trying to make music notes, you're gonna just like do a bunch of scribbling. This one you do kind of that and you're done. So very nice. Now I'll get some little S swooshes because those are always beautiful. This nib is very smooth. Uh, I've never had a problem with the tines coming apart or realigning uh, poorly. Uh, the flow has always been excellent in these. Uh, the feeds are great on Franklin Kristoff nibs. I don't know why everybody doesn't use these feeds, but they should. Uh, they never have a problem with ink flow as far in my, uh, in my experience, uh, at least not due to the feeds. Sometimes you get a nib that's a little bit too small or whatever, and it's a little pinched, and you just widen it up again, you're good. But uh, anyway, this one never has a problem, always, uh, always starts up. My only problem is that sometimes I twist my nib a little bit, and if you twist it, then you don't really get all the tines on the page, and so you end up with like a little bit of railroading, like, like that, yeah? That's not normal, that's my fault, right? So you need to go like this, uh, and go like that all day. But if you try to put, if you like write it at an angle, don't write obliquely with these, it's not great. All right, so that's the uh, Franklin Kristoff music nib. Let's move to a clean uh, bit. In fact, I'm gonna switch it over here so I don't get blue ink all over my hand. All right, uh, let's see what else you do. Oh, let's do other David's other pen. This is the Custom Heritage 912. It has a music nib in there. Uh, you can see this uh, MS sticker. I really like the stickers on Pilot Pens. I tend to leave them on there, and I'm glad David does too. It kind of makes me happy. Uh, this looks like the same size of nib that you will find in uh, uh, some of their other pens of this size. It says it's a number 10, uh, but Pilot uses kind of a wonky system for uh, sizes of nibs, so I don't really know what that means. Uh, in terms of like number six or whatever, like this is a number six nib, and this is a number 10. That's because Pilot does kind of wonky numbering schemes that are different from everybody else. You'll notice this is a three time music nib as well. Let me get it up closer a little bit. There we go, focused, good. Uh, the, time, the slits go pretty deep down to the, down the nib, you can see there. Uh, they kind of blend in with the scroll work just a little bit. This is a, uh, it says nine, let's say nine, goodness, my eyesight is bad. 916, 916 is what it says on the side of the nib. And if you see a gold nib and it's marked with little numbers, uh, what that means is it's telling you the gold content of that thing. And I think 916 means it's like 21 or 22 carat is what I looked it up as being. Uh, three times music nib, you get a little bit of, um, a little bit of play, these are a little bit soft. The Franklin Kristoff nib, I didn't even bother doing this because there's no point. I, was, I wouldn't say this is a flex nib, but you can put a little bit of pressure on there and they will spread apart. So uh, that's a thing to be aware of. All right, so this is the Pilot. 
uh, custom heritage, ch. I'm going to try to write more or less vertically so it's acting like it ought to be. Uh, 9, 1, 2, music, nib. <laughs> I was looking at the camera and not at the page. This is not how I usually write nib, but whatever. We'll go with it. All right, let's give it some uh, swirlies. Very nice. Uh, it's a, quite a wet pen. I haven't had any problems with this one being dry. Um, the only problem I've had with this pen in writing with it is that, uh, I like I said, I tend to like over-rotate just a little bit. And since it's a little bit more bendy, it's more bendy than either of the other two that we're going to look at. And, of course, uh, way more bendy than Franklin Christoph. But um, due to that, when I rotate my pen a little bit, I do it unconsciously. So unless I'm paying attention, I tend to put just like one corner on the page, and then you get this action, which you don't want. Um, and so that's not great. But that's kind of my own fault for my writing style. Let's give you some, uh, some cross-hatching. Very nice thin strokes that way, much bigger strokes this way. Yeah, good. Uh, I'm gonna write some music notes. Give it a little, little uh, one of these. Uh, I'll give it a bird's eye. I'll give it uh, one of these. Yeah, so there are some musics for you. Don't try to sing that. Yeah, all right, cool. So you can totally do it. It's not as impressive as it was uh, with the Kristoff nib, just because it's not quite as wide. Uh, but for normal everyday usage, this one's a little bit better, I think, than the Franklin Kristoff nib. Uh, when I get around to ranking them, uh, we'll see how they end up falling out. I know already because I've already thought about it. Anyway, here is the next one. This is move this out of the way. This is the uh, Platinum three seven seven six in uh, Burgundy, I believe it's called. Uh, if it's not, I will put up a little thing at the bottom here that tells you what it is. But this is the music nib itself. Uh, if you haven't tried out the 3776 line from Platinum, you really ought to. They're fantastic pens. Uh, they stay wet all the time because they have a very fancy cap, uh, inner cap seal. Um, and the nibs uh, have been very good. I tried an ultra extra fine for a while, and that is way too fine for Mike. Um, so if you like uh, extra fine nibs, that one is real fine. Uh, the only thing I've used that's finer than that was this crazy sailor nib. But anyway, enough of that. This is a three-time music nib, just as the other ones. And the, uh, the pattern in the middle really reminds me of... Um, uh, I believe that's the pattern for like resistors if you're looking at electrical notation for circuits because it's got like straight lines and little squigglies in between. Anyway, that always makes me kind of happy. And also it looks a little bit like a face because it's got those two breather holes and like a little like crazy smile in there. So I dig that. All right. So uh, let's give this a writing sample. This is, I'll try to write more vertically. This is the platinum. Oh man, I talked about it never running out and then I've been waving it around for a while. There we go. Three, seven, seven, six. There we go, that's better. Uh, I actually don't know what the ink is in this one. Oh, this one is uh, shocking blue. Uh, this one is Spanish blue. This one I wanna say is probably uh, Mont Blanc's Lucky Orange, but I sent this uninked to Fig Boot, and so David put some, um, put some ink in it. I'm guessing that's what it is, but I really like it, it's a nice orange. Uh, let's give you some swirlies. Oh, this is a music nib, obviously, but just for sort of parody. Do that. All right. I'll give you some swirlies down here. Not maybe as much line variation, variation, variation. Not as much line variation. There we go. My Texas is coming out, uh, as perhaps you see in some of these other ones. Uh, but this one has more tipping material. If I can get it to focus on the nib, it's got a little bit more tipping material. It's kind of rounded there at the end, more than the Kristoff nib for sure. It's a little bit wedge shaped actually. That's why you get these super thin. Uh, uh, verticals, much thicker horizontals, and uh, let's do some music. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. There we go. We'll do that. Uh, get one of those. Go low for that one. Uh, there. Anyway, so you can do some music. Give it a little bird's eye, because that's what I like to do. All right, cool. There you go. So uh, maybe not quite as much line variation on the platinum. Uh, as you get from the other ones. Um, I'm not sure if maybe that's just my hand doing it. Eh, that's pretty good. I, there's still a huge amount of line variation, but not as much as you get from this one, for sure. Kristoff wins at line variation just because of how big that nib is, as opposed to how thin it is. All right, so that's the platinum. One left. And this one's a little bit of an oddball. This is the Sailor. This is a uh, Sailor 1911 standard with a mosaic pattern. The mosaic pattern is a really beautiful pattern. I think, look at the chatoyance and the gray and the tan. I really enjoy this pen. Uh, I haven't had it for that long. I got it and then I pretty much immediately sent it to David to uh, get started on this uh, music nib project. So I really haven't played with it much. 
So, here we go. All right, I'm gonna get some orange in my hand, probably. Let's tilt the page, there we go, good. I hope the lines don't bother you uh, being there, but yeah, what are you gonna do? So this is a Sailor, uh, 1911, music, uh, nib. You'll see the notation on it as a, uh, it says MS. Uh, and that's some people say uh, as music stub. Some of the other ones are marked MS as well. I think it's just, I just say music for it. But I can totally get why people would call it a music stub, because unlike the other two, this one is a single slit music nib. So really, it's basically kind of a wet stub. It doesn't have uh, the two slits, and I think that's really the only problem with this uh, this nib. It doesn't look as cool as the other ones. It's got a nice little, like, weird Cyclops happy face, or maybe it's like a, I don't know, some, and it's got a smile on it, but no, like, eyes. It's a little bit creepy, maybe. But uh, it doesn't have the two slits, and I think that's what makes music nibs so fun to have. Uh, for most collectors, because like, oh yeah, look at this cool nib, and people are like, whoa, that's rad. Whereas with this one, like, this is a really nice nib, and like, yeah, I don't know, it looks like a lot of other nibs. You can see it's got a lot more tipping than the other two, the other three. Uh, it's more rounded at the tip, uh, but it is quite broad. In fact, when I bought this pin, it was mistakenly labeled as a broad italic. Uh, somebody had uh, listed it wrong. So this is a this is a cool nib to have found on this cool pen. I'm glad I got both these in a combination. But um, as a result, this nib is much more forgiving for normal writing uh, than some of the others. The Platinum is very good. The Pilot's not quite as forgiving. And the Franklin Kristoff nib, you have to pay attention to what you're doing uh, because it's uh, I don't know, a very fancy music nib. To give you the uh, crosshatch, there we go. Kind of the same cross hatches you're going to get from most stubs. It's a little bit wetter than most stubs, I think. Uh, this is my first Sailor Music Nibs. So I, I hope that carries um, through across the whole line of Sailor Music Nibs, but you never know. Uh, and like most Sailor Nibs, there's really no give in this guy. Uh, it's kind of a nail, although it does have a little bit, just a little bit of give. This is a 21K Music Nib. I guess I didn't say which what Ks they were. So this one's 21K. Uh, the Platinum is 14K. There you go. Uh, and the other one, uh, Franklin Christoph is steel, and the uh, the pilot, I believe, I talked about. I think it's like a 21 or 22K. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, let's do a little bit of music writing. Uh, give it some of this. That doesn't make sense. There we go. That's better. Yeah. So, pretty good. I'll give it a little bird's eye. There you go. Solid. A little ampersand. No, it's not an ampersand. What are you doing, Mike? There we go. Uh, it's not a very good one either. There we go. Like that better. Excellent. Good ampersand, Mike. This is the Sailor 1911 music nib. Okay, so now we should probably talk about how we rank these things because that's a thing we kind of came here to do. Okay, so now we need to rank these pins, or these nibs rather, in terms of their relative music -y goodness. That's the wrong pen. <laughs> I use that to write this. Um, and so we have four pins here, and uh, I'm gonna have to like do a little bit of mixing in my rankings. So uh, I'm not entirely sure where to start. I think I'm gonna start with four, because that seems like the right way to go, and then build up. So number four, unfortunately, I think I've determined has to be the Sailor Music Nib. And that's not because it's a bad nib. None of these nibs are bad. That's the thing, we're ranking only good stuff. But if I'm a nitpicker, uh, having a two-time music nib is disappointing. It's uh, a great writer. There are no problems, really, with it. Let's put the four down here. And we're going to go with the Sailor Music. Now, that said, this is one of my top two favorite ones to write with. But as a music nib, uh, two times, I don't know, man. It's really just kind of a stub. Uh, and that's barely a music nib, right? It writes really well. I like the grind. The flow is fantastic and it looks cool. Uh, but I think it's got to go number four on the list of music nibs. Just as a Geo Metro goes last on the list of awesome trucks, this has got to go last on the list of music nibs. Uh, third, for me, is going to end up being this Pilot. Uh, because while it is, and you really, I had this at last, uh, but I, I said, you know what? It is a music nib. So this has got to be number three, the Pilot music nib. Uh, and again, not because it's a bad pen, but because it's one that I can't write with on a daily basis. I tried a bunch of times, and the problem with this nib is that it is too flexible. So if you're somebody who wants to get a little bit of extra flex out of it, make it a little bit wider, you can with this nib and you can't with the others. But 
Ah, uh, man, if you rotate your pin even a little bit, this is the least forgiving pin in the entire bunch. Uh, and that's that's a big problem for me. So for my ranking, it's got to go third. It probably ought to go last. If only Sailor had cut another slit into that darn nib, that music nib would have probably been uh, in the top couple. But this one, ah, uh, man, third on music, fourth on my liking list. All right, second. Second is going to be Franklin Kristoff. That's this one. Uh, let's see, we'll do it. I'm running out of room. I planned this badly. What are you going to do? Number two, Franklin Kristoff. Uh, that's what it's called, the Kristoff. And again, not because it's a bad pen. I love this pen. It's a great nib. It performs flawlessly as long as you're paying attention. Uh, this is a good music, uh, probably the best nib at being a music nib, if I'm honest. Like, it made my music notes look the coolest. I'm no, uh, I'm no, like, composer or whatever, but it's easiest, I think, to write music nibs with, uh, write music, uh, write music with. Um, and it makes your handwriting look awesome if I'm paying attention, or if you actually naturally have a good writing angle and you don't rotate your pen. But like the Pilot music nib, this is not forgiving. If you rotate a little bit, some of the tines are not in contact with the paper, uh, and you end up getting like no ink on the page, and it looks annoying. So this one's got to go number two, although for being a music nib, maybe it's the best, because it's great at writing music notes. So that means that first, you already knew it was coming, Number one is going to be the Platinum 3776 for me. Uh, I will put it up here. Number one, Platinum 3776 music. That's uh, a little bit of a surprise for me, but not too much because, man, I love writing with this pen. Uh, I think that it is the most forgiving of the three, perhaps. Well, maybe not... Uh, Maybe the Sailor and the Platinum are like tied for forgivingness, but it does have the three slits. It does have no problem writing with, uh, you know, any ink I've put in this guy, and I've had it for like I don't know a year or so. Uh, it is a great nib. Uh, it can do the musicy stuff. It can do the everyday stuff. This is your all-around best pick if you want to have a cool music nib that you can like take out of the house and do non-music things with. All right, so there you go. That's the ranking. Platinum three seven seven six. The Franklin Christoph Christoph nib, the Pilot music, and then the wonderful yet not very musical uh, Sailor Mosaic. So that's that. And uh, now back to my face. Okay, so that was how the ranking shook out. Uh, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I changed my mind a bunch of times. I refilmed that thing. I uh, I was I was I was thinking hard and I was I was reconsidering and I, I was wadding up Rodia fancy paper and throwing it away time after time. But at the end of the day. That's the ranking as they came out. Platinum wins the day. Franklin Kristoff following Sailor, or I mean, uh, uh, Pilot getting in there and Sailor bringing up the end. This is not how I expected this to go. In fact, it kind of differs from the list I went in with. But as I was doing the review and doing the writing samples and thinking about my experiences using these pens for like the last month or so, uh, I've got to say, I think that's a pretty solid listing. So, uh, if you agree, cool. Let me know. If you don't agree, tell me where I got it wrong. It's entirely possible that I did. It is unbelievably hard to rank things that you really like. Uh, well, except for that pilot. I don't care for that. But the rest of them are great. And it's hard to rank things that you uh, like. You really like against some criterion. Like some of them are going to end up losing. And that's that sucks. Uh, I wish they could all be like one and then have pilot be number two. But I, that's not how it works out. That's not how numbers work. And so I couldn't do it. Anyway, so if you haven't gone to see uh, Fig Boots video, and you probably haven't because you've been watching this face, go watch David's face and David's writing samples um, as I conduct with this thing. Uh, and uh, you will see a whole, probably a whole different ranking. We did not share our rankings beforehand. I have no idea what he ranked them. Maybe we ranked them the same. I bet we didn't. Uh, because I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to rank these darn things. Uh, so anyway, go see David's uh, video over at Fig Boot on Pins. Subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all the things over here on the sidebar that you uh, are on the uh, on the screen that you want to do with uh, you know YouTube stuff to help us get out there and like show people pins and stuff like that. And uh, thank you for all my to all my patrons. Thank you to all of you who will become patrons in the future uh, as you're uh, as you feel like doing it. And uh, I will see y'all later. Peace out, I'm Mike. Buh bye bye